What's up, Twisties? It's Twisted Pandora, and welcome back, everyone, to Tommy Play, the official Tommy Hilfiger event inside Roblox, just in time for its newest and best update, featuring 16 new items, 15 of those absolutely free. So in this episode, I'm going to show you guys how to get each and every single one of those items inside the newest update of Tommy Play. But keep in mind that this game has been updated a few times since I've done my first video on this event. So there are several items that you and I might be missing, and I'll talk about those ones at the end after we talk about everything that's new in this update. First thing you're gonna wanna do, of course, is actually warp to there. So when you go and hit play at the bottom left, go and change the burrow so you guys get to chapter two in the Bronx. Then hit that travel button, and here we are! So why don't we start off with the items inside the shop. There are 12 of them, one of them being Robux, but the rest of them using coins. So that means as long as as you grind this game they are all free if we start off in the gear shop with the shirts we can see the denim jacket is the only robux item from the 12 with 410 robux needed to buy just kidding it's actually 50 robux what the heck moving on the rest of the items are just with in-game coins starting with the tj jacket at 730 coins the tape hoodie black blue and red all at 410 coins even though it says tape hoodie blue it's actually white i don't know why they messed this up but after that we have the workout tops in black blue and red all for 330 coins each moving on to the pants we have the jogger pants for 730 coins then the workout shorts blue and wait blue that's supposed to be black and blue for 330 each they messed up there again they should probably fix that soon but we can move on to the accessories for the final item here the bum bag blue for 790 coins now those are all the items in the shop let's get to the stuff that you're all waiting for the free mission items by starting off with the easiest one and that's by getting the item that you can see over there that says claim in the distance now you think that you'd be able to get across from here but we don't have our bikes anymore guys we just have parkour so we gotta jump double jump and then a dash but that unfortunately won't be able to make it so just follow exactly what i do here by jumping on these clouds here then getting your way all the way to the top by using your jump and your boost remember the boost is the r and you're gonna need that a lot here we go Oh, guys just before you know it you're up here by the tommy hilfiger flag with the noob and here you can claim your first item and at the bottom right you guys should see love is love award meaning you guys get yourself the tj pride foam hand now we can move on to the pretzel run. So what you're going to want to do is go to the area that there says quest. Because here is a series of quests that you have to do to get two banger items. So we're going to talk to this guy right here. And he's going to be breakdancing on you and says, Hey man, want to learn these moves? Well, you got to get to the giant pretzel at the end of the train track. So follow exactly what I do here by going up the stairs all the way to the top of the subway station. And then what we're going to have to do is go all the way around. Yep, it's going to take a while, unfortunately, because they're really really are no other boosts here. There are probably other ways too, but just follow what I do here. I'm going to speed it up, of course, because, oh my gosh, this would take forever. But by the time you guys get to the bridge here, it actually ends up breaking off. So what you're going to want to do is climb along the edges here. Make sure you don't fall off. Use your boost sparingly, because if you boost too hard, you might fall off, and that's not going to be too good. But getting up here, then you're going to want to go up to the top over here, and I'm just going to boost. Oh no, oh no, oh my gosh, I almost fell off. That's a good thing that that caught me, because I made it onto this this cloud and once you made onto this cloud then you're pretty much home free watch this guys a little bit of a trick here and boom there we go if you guys want to know how to do that be sure to press t on your keyboard to ragdoll and then boost afterwards because it actually makes you go farther than just with a normal boost but enough trainer tips come collect your pretzel here and then you're going to want to run all the way back yep all the way back an easier way honestly is probably just to hit that play button and go to the Tommy store, teleport, and now jump from up here to the mission area, which remember it was down in this area over there. Talk to Mr. Skeleton again to get a Pretzel Run 1 award at the bottom right. That's how you know you guys get your Floor Rock Freeze emote. And if you want another one, let's do the rest of the Pretzel Run by finding the pretzel in the museum, which is way right up there. Now to get up there, you're gonna wanna go the same way that I showed you earlier. So come up here with the boost up to the top of the stairs 
over here. Now climb to the area where we got our first item. But instead of going up to the right about here, you're going to want to take a left because we're going to have to go even higher than we did before. I'm going to speed it up here, but just follow the way I take it all the way around this kind of parkour area. It's honestly pretty easy. Again, using the tactic that I showed you by using the ragdoll and then boosting because you go way farther. Make sure you jump at the end of that because you might fall off if you don't stop your ragdoll in time. Once you get up to the top of here, there is an entrance by the museum and there is the pretzel with the little chicken on it. Go ahead and collect that pretzel to get yourself the pretzel run 2 award at the bottom right meaning you guys get yourself the frosty flare emote with those out of the way we only have one more free mission item to get so go ahead and hit that play warp to the tommy store equip the tj back hot dog on your avatar remember that guys when this event first came out and we had to go and enter a secret place if you don't remember that be sure to go watch the first episode i'll leave the link down below because i show you how to get this specific hot dog that you have to wear when you walk into the tommy jean store so what we're gonna want to do is go into the gear and actually just click on the giant hot dog backpack and it should pop on my back here it is and then we're gonna walk into the store notice now i have a tommy hilfiger flag at the top that means that you have done the first step successfully you're gonna want to jump straight down into the pool in the middle if i can get into the pool there we go we got into the pool and when you do you guys get yourself the join the club award at the bottom right meaning you get the tj giant burger for your avatar and with that ladies and gentlemen that's how you get all 16 items inside this new update but before we head off if you haven't gotten anything since the first video i did on this meaning you've missed a couple updates well stay tuned to the end because we're going to talk about that right now so guys a couple of days after the tommy play event first came out there was a first update that introduced daily challenges if you guys want to know where to find them go and click the gear tab at the bottom then click on the achievements tab to the left because here will be a list of daily challenges and achievements that you can now achieve if you haven't done them already in my first video i showed you guys how to do daily challenge one but i never showed you how to do daily challenges two through six now on the screen you guys can see that the daily challenge two was called speed demon and you had to go faster than 100 studs a second i highly recommend just using speed boost and then going through the big circles that give you this massive boost because in no time you will get yourself the tj sport cap with text logo blue daily challenge three was called daredevil and that's where you had to participate in just two race or stunt competitions and you guys get yourself the tj color block hoodie pink daily challenge four known as space launch you had to jump higher than 300 studs awarding yourself the tj color block hoodie blue again like daily challenge two i highly recommend launching yourself through the big circles and going as high as you can and maybe even ragdolling so that you can go even higher daily challenge five was heartbreaker and that's where you had to fail a stunt combo worth at least 10,000 points to get yourself the TJ color block sweatpants in blue slash yellow. What I recommend is getting into a big party on a server because that will give you a points multiplier and then just jumping in one spot and activating as many tricks as you possibly can by double jumping and then using all the tricks available to you and then fail when you hit 10,000. Daily challenge six which is to fail a trick and slide for more than 200 studs. This is really really easy if you do tricks beforehand and then get on a big little launcher that launches you so far away you go flying that will reward you the tj color block sweatpants in blue and pink and with that those are all the challenges that were in this update keep in mind guys though that in between each challenge you're gonna have to wait about 24 hours or a whole day before you can do them so you can't pump them out all at once now that wasn't the only update because a couple of weeks after that there was another update that included seven new items six of them free and one of them with robots out of the six free items two of them in the shop and the one robux item is also in the shop so if we go into the shop you guys can see that the tj blue tone hat is the item i'm talking about that is robux it costs 200 robux so it's quite expensive but the other two items in the shop that are free you just need to grind some coins they are the crossover bag blue and red each for 790 coins the four other items are available doing a series of missions they are versatile finish a stunt competition with four tricks equipped which will 
would award you the TJ Pop Hoodie Blue. Check it. Perform a stunt combo worth over 5,000 points in a stunt competition, which would award you the TJ Pop Hoodie Green. Streak of color. Win a BMX race with a custom color on your bike, but it has to be three or more players awarding you the TJ Pop Stripe Rugby Pink Slash Blue and the Burst of Color achievement, which is winning a stunt competition with a custom color on your bike, but that competition has to have three or more players. That will award you the TJ Pop Strike Rugby Pink Slash Green. But now with that, ladies and gentlemen, those are all the items free and paid in this update and every update before the first time this game came out. Hopefully this helped you out. If it did, be sure to drop that like down below. Subscribe if you guys are new to the channel and don't forget to use star code Twisted with two eyes whenever you're buying Robux or Premium to help support the channel. This is Twisted Bandora signing off with my massive hot dog on my back. And as always, don't forget to stay snazzy.